Today we're playing first tags. My first official round with all infinite discs. Don't have to be all infinite, but might as well play the first tags of the year with just infinite stuff. If you guys have watched the last two videos, you see me unbox and announce my sponsorship. Everything's kind of crazy. We got 140 people here, over 21 holes, seven people per card, which is gonna be a little ridiculous. Okay, so I wanted to pop in here real fast to say a massive thank you. I know not everybody had the chance to get their hands on some of the drop discs, which you guys will now get a great idea of like kind of how they fly in an actual round today. And I kind of found out one of these discs is kind of my favorite right now, which is kind of a sleeper. There's a lot of them available because you guys have made them restock like three times already. So thank you so much for the support. If you haven't picked up any of these and you want to snag them, they are on the site now. We've already talked and we're going to need to run a couple more stamps so that we can have a full rotation. And there are a couple of like slightly lighter weight discs right now manufacturing hasn't got up and running for 2024 so as that happens plenty more infinite molds and other molds including maybe some thought space soon will be coming to my shop over on infinite should almost always be the first link down in the description if you want to snag anything but massive massive thank you for the support also i got some questions about codes for infinite there are no codes this year anymore for anybody on infinite so i don't have a code but if you just buy anything through infinite it will be supporting me because it'll be increasing how much value i bring to them helping them see the value so that hopefully we can do bigger and better things as the years roll on and the more of my specific discs that you guys pick up, the more I'll be able to do with them, including multiple special specific runs. Ultimately, it just makes them want to do more if I'm selling more. So thank you guys so much for your support. If you don't buy anything, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoy this content throughout the rest of the year. One last update is I'm finally getting over all this sickness. And so I should be out to more regularly filmed content, trying to get about 25 videos up per month because I hit 299 last year. I counted them all out. I didn't hit that round 300, so we gotta do that this year. So hopefully 300 videos coming your way. Thank you so much for your support. Sorry for this interjection. Let's get back into exactly what first tags is and then teeing off on this awesome 21 hole course. Oh, awesome course. Debatable. Awesome time, yes. This is the first tags of the year, meaning that the one tag is on the line. I've never had the one tag before. I've always wanted it. But honestly, most times that you just go to a random tags round, the one tag just isn't there because only one person has it and they don't go to everything. <clears throat> As you can hear, I'm still getting over that little bit of sickness. So it's going to be like Jordan's flu game, except not even close to like that. But I think I'd be happy with 13 or better. I don't think that wins, but just getting my first round in with these discs, throwing them in the field at one time, I felt pretty good about it. It's all going to come down to the putt because putts at Denver versus putting at sea level, the glide is just so different. And these are on the best baskets ever made 225 ruin please be stable oh gosh okay we had the opposite first throws holy cow wake up okay shout out the ruin for making up for my mistakes but now i gotta make the first 30 footer of the day yeah that disc was it did get as stable as i needed it to so that is a win i thought i was gonna be like 40 feet that way Yikes. Square it up a little better. No worries. All right, we got an idle into 280 straight ahead. Throw a little hyzer stand up. Oh, it's acting more stable when you're tired. Oh, big skip. We're gonna have to throw some warm up shots next time. Yeah. Nice pot, dude. Oh, oh gosh. All right, I think we can officially say this is not gonna be Jordan's flu game. We're gonna get at least 10 under. Still warming up for sure. Oh, we got Temple, sweet. Thought I'd be getting up early, having time to practice, and I got here like two minutes before we started, so. We gotta start getting some birdies with this stuff. Oof. There you go, on the board. So I've not committed to it, which is why I haven't talked about it yet, but I'm trying to throw a different disc for basically every hole, because I have a full lineup, and most of these holes I can reach with whatever. So I did add like and subscribe as my throwing alpaca is now with the D-blend plastic, but yeah, we'll try to throw almost everything that's in the bag for this round. All right, 340, straight ahead. I think we're gonna go czar, and uh, just take the big hyzer. Make sure we actually get it up this time. Oh God. Yeesh. That'll be fine. Gotta tighten that guy up. Oh my gosh! I hate that when you when you don't know what your body's gonna do is the worst feeling. Aim at a link. Careful! I think I all those putts I missed I didn't aim. That's so embarrassing. The dynasty here. I was thinking Roman, but just pop a hyzer flip. Whoa, that's flippy! Holy cow! 
That's like nice, but not what I wanted. <laughs> That's perfect flight. That's noodle arm. Alright, another Sikultuski. Another Sikultuski. Another Sikultuski. Another Sikultuski. Another Sikultuski. Another Honestly, if we can't get this next one, might as well go home. Alrighty, 560. We're eating some snacks. Trying to feel better. Try to bite off a lot. Oh, it's not gonna flip over. That's fine though. It's not, man. I was just pitch a ruin up. Thanks. If it's under 150 feet, I guess I can throw it. Inca. All right, should be pretty stable. Nice, easy, simple shot. Oh gosh. Get it. Oh, yeah. Never mind. What am I talking about? That's perfect. That ink, it kind of scared me on that flight because it, like, pushed super straight. It did eventually, like, fade at the end, but it kind of, like, took it like took a minute where I was like, oh, my gosh, is it going to flip over? And then it just didn't. And then it faded, and now I have a 20-footer. It's very interesting. I asked Rob, one of the guys who's, like, played forever and has thrown a ton of old Innova and Discraft, and he said it, like, kind of felt like a comet. I think the bevel is very different, but I could definitely see that feel because he was asking if it was, like, understable. It was interesting, though. That? All right, we're going to Centurion. Part. Typically, I'll throw forehand or backhand over the top, but it sounds like more fun. And we're probably not going to execute any of them, so might as well try to execute the cool shot up the middle. Get through. Find that gap right there. Oh. Oh, inches. All righty. 465 up the hill. Par four. Just gonna try to throw a bomb turnover over with this iBud Emperor. My this pack feels so inflamed, so I'm hoping it'll still break well. Not sure how far we'll be able to throw, but we'll rip them. Oh god. That was shanked. Still up there though. <laughs> Alright. Ow, holy cow. If I try to forehand in this ruin, you're not gonna be able to see it though. So if I do it, you just got to believe me. I might try to get a better angle. Sweet. Alright, a little forehand ruin here. First one of the day. She's on right. Don't tell anybody that was a run. <laughs> Is this a four today? 240. A little headwind. So a decent bit of hyzer. Let it float in, just spin it. Get glidey. Should be fine. Well, we threw it perfect. Roll down, so no worries. Let's drain a circle two guy. Eesh. We're gonna try the beefy boy. I don't think I'm gonna get a really good other chance to throw the conqueror, so who is gonna be so overstable? Especially going up the hill. Oh, didn't put enough on it. Oof. Dude, that conqueror is so beef. Kinda love it. Just gotta get over it, especially when you're throwing it up a hill. My gosh. Couldn't catch it. Missing putts is a lifestyle at this point, let's be real. I think we got about 10 holes left, and I'm like one or two under. So I'd love to get to 10. Frankly, right now I'm just trying to get through the round. Hopefully do something cool. Throw the rest of these discs. Then we'll have like our first good round with this bag over the course of the next week or so. I really wanted this to be like a triumphant series, but it's turned out to be like a more real, rom relatable series for when you play that. All right, 480, down the hill. We're going this Halo Emperor. The hands a stamp. I think this is finally when I can throw a good shot. Oh, it's stable. Wow, it's so stable. Holy crap. That's terrible. Throw one good shot today. Just one good shot, I think. I need to throw it against the Conqueror a little bit more. I knew it was beefy when I threw it in the field yesterday, and I knew that I, I wanted to throw it on like 15, 20 degrees of Anheuser, and it came out on Heiser. <laughs> <laughs> or like flat eyes or so. Out of my hand, I was like, crap, no chance it's ever getting there. I was hoping it'd be a little glidier, but I really like where it is now, because that's gonna basically replace my 2021 Calvin Destroyer, because it's even a little more stable than that one is since it got beat in a bit, so kind of perfect. Feels very similar, flies very similar. Really nice disc. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Wow. I almost wonder if I should have tried this Maya super flippy. That would have been maybe more fun. I don't know why I've never tried this play before, but we're going to go Scepter, kind of overstable nine speed on this flex forehand because we can really force it over and move it left 
And if we throw it slow enough, it'll just work its way back to the right, and we'll be able to miss short and long since it's only about 280 or so. So I think we're gonna try the scepter on this hole. Oh my gosh, turn anything over. You gotta make one of these, right? Not this one. It is good to know though that that is a good viable play on that hole. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but like my body doesn't like want to stop being vertical. And so that means I'm pretty hysery or flat on my backhand and forehand. I think it's easier for me to tilt over than tilt back. Yeah, I mean, even just doing that now, I can feel like my body does not want to go backwards right now. For some reason, anything that's like on the Anheuser side, doing those made me feel like the start of dizziness, which is not good. So we won't do that. I don't think we have anything else overstable to throw, which is gonna be good. I think we might be able to get through all these discs. Seven holes left, we can get some birdies. All right, we're going Sphinxy here. Little flippy guy, just. I'll do. Dang it, I thought I got him, but I skipped right past. I'll tap you out, I'll tap you out. Oh no. Oh man. That was crazy, dude. What a par. I know, right? <laughs> All right, got some interesting wind here. 480 down the hill. We'll head right to left. We can't turn this over too much, so we gotta leave it right, because we got that right to left wind, and as flat as possible. It's a long shot for the Roman. That should work. Great shot. That should work. What's that? That should work. <laughs> I think there are three or four discs left that we have yet to throw. We have like six holes left, so I think we'll throw those off these next three. Try to just throw a straight shot with the Anubis here. A little power down, and then the Exodus. Try and throw that seven speed on 390 footer, which I think we can maybe reach. And then the Maya. Bring it better, not let us down. I want to take the Heiser, but I also just love this straight shot. Okay. Yeah, dude, I can't throw an Anheuser right now to save my life. It's time to make one of these, come on. <laughs> Not that one. All right, I'm gonna throw in the first disc that got approved by Infinite. I just realized this is the five-year commemorative Exodus. 390, it's gonna be a bit of a pump. I gotta make sure, let's give it a touch of turn. Did you have a right to left? There's a little blue in this guy. I didn't see that before. Oh, we got a left or right cross. This Maya is gonna be done for. Holy cow. Going the flippiest disc I got. I blend Maya. Left right cross. 425. We're gonna have to punch it. We're gonna walk up the tee pad this way and throw it straight out here on some hyzer. Let it get up, get up and flip, and then turn to the basket. <laughs> Not counting on any stability here. Ride! Oh gosh! Holy cow! I think I kind of kicked down on the on the cross one. Too much hyzer beating it, didn't let it flip up and over. That was kind of surprising. I think the halo one was more understable when I threw it in the field, though. Interesting. I'll have to keep messing with that. Ah, it's gonna be short. Oh gosh! Big time mistakes were made there. I brushed that one a little bit. I had to change my mic. We only got three more holes after this one. We really got to convert on this part. This guy did not flip as much as I thought. This eye blend, I, I gotta remember, eye blend starts out so stable, but it beats in beautifully. Good putt. Thank you. That's like the first putt that felt really good today. All right, we're gonna be playing these last three into a headwind here. 300 feet. We're gonna go back to the Inca. I just love this stamp. Honestly, still trying to figure this one out. I don't know if I quite trust it into a headwind right now. I feel like the cherry is a little more reliable from what I've thrown so far, but we'll see. I keep thinking I gotta come here. I think I'm gonna run up to this side of the tee pad and just kind of open up the angle a little bit more. That's nice. I think I was making a mountain out of molehill with how short I thought I was. Two more birdies and we like kind of salvaged a good round. 275 to the left, kind of head right to left. I think we're gonna go Ruin. Just kind of throw the Ruin hard. I don't think it'll flip. Hey now, 
Yeah, I'm gonna sue Simon now. That was pretty overstable. Wow. I thought that'd be straighter. I think I maybe could have gone chariot there. I thought the room would definitely have the push. I think I was making a mountain out of molehill with how short I thought I was. All right, we're running a headwind. But I think we're gonna stick with the eye blend tomb. Does the pack, does the extend back here? Can I like tee off from here? Yep. Dang, that stayed a little more stable than I thought. There's 140 people. If I make this putt, I think I'm gonna get 24. If I miss, I'm gonna get 32. That's my guess. But we'll get the one tag eventually. I'm gonna make it a series to see how many tags I can win in a row. Starting at zero. 24th, that's my guess. Uh, and we're waiting for the last group to walk in. I'm fixing a couple things and we'll do a ward. Dude, I get some more practice in with these alpacas. They're gonna be deadly. The end blend feels so good in the cold. I, it feels so much better to me than the T blend did. Dude, shout out Marshall. Just hooks it up. Look at this ornament. Thank you, man. I really appreciate for sure. it. Absolutely. 14, Anthony Bodanza! <laughs> Dude, these look awesome this year. Holy crap. 14, better than 24. We're gonna, we're gonna get a single digit here. So. Sorry I wasn't a great first round with Infinite. There'll be plenty of good rounds to come. You gotta start from the bottom, you know what I mean? Probably see you guys tomorrow. I might take a couple days off because I am feeling a little bit sick, but I got plenty more to film. Appreciate you guys. See you soon.